Welcome back to Space Street Crypto. My name is Elizabeth Howard, and today I'm going to address some of the DMs that I am getting in my Twitter and my email about Vault Inu today and the chart. What is going on with it? Well, y'all need to calm down. Just chill out. I don't want to hear anybody say anything anymore in my DMs. Elizabeth, what's going on with the chart? Why is it going down? We talked about the reason why the chart was going down last week, and it was so people could buy the NFTs, Vault of Dragon Sailors Club. That's what they were doing. They want to take part in the NFTs. The chart was going up last night and now it's going down just a little bit. I think it's because people are trying to go ahead and nab some of those NFTs that are left. But that is not what I'm concerned about whatsoever. Those green candles last night showed me that people are building up their bags of Vault Inu again because they know Vaulty change is fixing to come out. Y'all know I'm excited about it. That's what I'm most excited about is Vaulty change and how it's going to change the crypto space forever. I can't wait to see what projects are going to be listed on Vaulty change. But you know what? We have some inside information that was leaked today on Breakfast with Bleeves. And I'm going to just add this to my video. Y'all go check it out. Go watch his video. Go sub to his channel. That man is always right. He does a technical analysis every morning and night. That man's going to be at 100K subscribers very soon. So you definitely want to check him out. He had this to say today. Let's go see. The 21st is when Volta Change launches. And when Volta Change launches, then you should start to see some real positivity coming through Volt. All right, so what does that tell you? Just hang tight. That's 10 days away from now. Now, that's on a Sunday, so the 22nd is on a Monday. We know that Voltoshi is European, so you got to check your time zones, but don't keep checking your wallet. That's not going to be good or healthy for you. Let's take a look and remind ourselves what we have to look forward to and what is going on with Vault Inu. Right here on their Twitter page, they now have 85.3K followers, so that's growing. If you ever have a question, go check out our link tree right here. Look how stacked it is, as Game Bangers says. Look at that. I'm not even at the halfway point. So I'm going to leave these important links about Vault Inu in the description box below and I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. We still have so much more to go. We're only eight months old and look how far we've come. That is amazing. All right, now how many centralized exchanges are we on? How many decentralized exchanges are we on? What advertisement are we doing? All these things add up and Vaulty Change coming out. Just like Pablo said in one of his lives, in my video that I did a couple days ago, I showed y'all that Pablo Crow said that there's going to be a professional grade trailer for Vaulty Change. And so that is very exciting to me because that means to me that that's probably going to be in every single living room in the US or around the world. That is really exciting to me with that. And also, when I was on Pablo's live stream the other night, he told us about this. I found this very interesting and I wanted to share how much further Vault Inu is spreading its wings with the crypto space. What's up? What's up, man? What's up? All right, let's see what else we got going on. So, so Pablo. Let's talk. What you got? <laughs> I'm like, you know, I never grill you. You know, I never ask you questions. But you brought it up yesterday. Right. I didn't talk about it. You talked about it. All right. Okay. So the commercial grade, you know, the advertisement for Vaulty Change. You said mm -hmm. it's going to be in every household. That's amazing. Like, I'm thinking of commercial into every household yeah well a commercial you know what i mean <laughs> it's gonna be big think about it it's all like right a commercial, i don't know yeah. how connected how 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 much people catch things but we had we had a a lady from uh from uh latin america do an interview recently from it's univision which is like a really big big um big uh network you know what i mean Kind of like HBO. Think about HBO, right? But but for Latin America, you know what I mean. So it's very well known. Everybody watches on it. Everybody does everything. And we saw an interview where she was promoting Volt. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm thinking like, huh? Maybe they're bringing in a popular channel to help us promote Volt to chain to South America. 
And I was thinking that was part of maybe just the Spanish side of it. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, what about our European or Turkish? What about what about the United States? What about Canada? Like, so I'm starting to think that the Voltoshi is going to have a commercial grade video that is probably going to go in different languages. Sweet. Yeah. Now that is so freaking cool. That is so bullish. I am so bullish, so vaulted. Thank you so very much for inviting me on your show the other night, Pablo Crow. I always enjoy going on the show all the time. It's always a good time. But just keep in mind, Voltoshi is always keeping us updated. Now I need to go do all my likes and retweets. Y'all don't forget to do that. That is how we stay trending. Like, retweet, quote, tweet, and comment and even share. All right, with that being said, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, share this video if you guys liked any content that you saw today, and don't forget to hit that bell because I do go live in the space cabin at night sometimes where we talk about pretty much everything. But I hope everybody has a good day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.